If I could describe some of the best management practices uh, for the farmer to adapt there with these different climate conditions, I, I would number one, I would be looking at which ENSO phase are we in. You know, if we're looking at El Nino and it's going to be uh, wet and cool, we may have to delay planting, allow that ground to warm up until it dries out enough so we can get in there and run. If it's La Nina and going to be dry, obviously we need to go in there and plant early, as early as possible so that we can go after our soil moisture. As climate does change, we can expect more extreme weather and we need to grow our crop according to and anticipate what those changes may be. An example is this. With anticipated climate change, we expect our peanuts growing season to potentially be warmer and drier. And that sets us up for problems like aflatoxin. So what I'm encouraging growers to do now is to both prepare their practices, whether it's increasing irrigation ability, or to invest in varieties that are gonna be both drought resistant and more tolerant to or resistant to aflatoxin. Under hot and dry conditions, we're gonna make sure that we recommend those growers follow some type of water scheduling program in order to make sure that we have plenty of irrigation or moisture in the soil for what the plant needs. And so if we've got a non-irrigated field and it's hot and dry, all we can do is maintain what we can handle. In other words, take care of any insects that are out there that we have to. Take care of disease that's out there. Now some of the ways you can manage uh, insects um, really well in peanuts is crop rotation and planting time. So crop rotation is very important. Look at your planting uh, methods and the varieties and do not go too much peanut after peanuts because then you will have buildup of insect pests, especially soil pests. 